abstraction is yet another very important concept in object-oriented programming. It's related to inheritance, but there is one big difference. Abstract class can have methods without body, which means that parent class, which is an abstract class, knows what should be done, but doesn't know how it should be done. So it will let it children to do the thing. When you're about to create a child class, which extends from the parent abstract class, you need to consider the following rules. You need to redeclare, override all abstract methods declared in the parent class. The arguments given to the methods should be the same as for the parent abstract method. Methods in the child class can have additional arguments with default values, which are not present in the parent abstract method. If abstract class uses type hinting for arguments or for return values, you need to consider also in the child class. The visibility of the child's method should be the same or less restricted than the parent's one. And one really important, objects cannot be created from the abstract class. Let's create our first abstract class and extend something from it. Let's start with a very simple but real example. We have abstract class shape, geometric shape, which has a public property color and abstract function get area, which returns the area of the shape and it uh, returns float. So in abstract class, I can have normal methods also. For example, I can create getter for the color. But actually, I cannot create objects from the shape unless I extend the shape class and create some real geometric class. For example, class triangle extends shape. And here my PHP Storm again gives me hint that triangle class must implement method getArea. I can, of course, write this method myself, or I can hit Alt-Enter and add this method automatically by the PHP store. And this triangle now is a valid class, and I, cr I can create an instance from this. Let's add one more method in the abstract class constructor for the color. This color equals color. And now when I create triangle, I need to give this color. Let's give red. For calculating area, it depends on the geometric shape itself. So for triangle, calculating of the area can be, can be absolutely different from another shape. Let's create another shape, for example, circle. Uh, I have typo again. As you can see, I have to implement this getArea method for the circle also. And let's create one more class, rectangle. And I have to implement getArea also. So we have one abstract method, getArea, and I need to implement this method in all subclasses. So the parent class shape knows that if it's a geometric shape, it has some kind of area, and this area can be calculated in some way but it doesn't know how it should be calculated because it depends on the shape itself. So now we have three different shapes, circle, triangle, and rectangle, and all of them will have different get area method. For circle, we can add additional properties like radius. We can override parents constructor and we can also accept radius and save in the public property radius. So, and now for calculating the area for the circle, the only thing what we need is the radius. And now we can implement, actually implement the get area method for the circle, which will be this radius multiplied on this radius multiplied on 3.14, which is pi. For rectangle, we can have width and length, and for calculating the area of the rectangle, we need this width and length. I can add these public properties, and again, override parent constructor, accepting here width and length also. And now we can also implement getArea method of the rectangle. 
I'm not basically going to do the same thing for triangle, but we will need to add additional properties for triangle, also like the height of the triangle and length of the weed edge and so on. But uh, let's keep for the triangle and create an instance of a rectangle. I'm going to change this to a rectangle. Give the color uh, width, let's say it's 10 and the length is 5. This is a triangle and let's print the area of this triangle. Get area. Let's run the code. And here we see that the area of this triangle is 50. Let's create another instance for circle. Give the color and the radius, let's say it's 5, and print the area for the circle. It's 78.5. For code organization, it's good practice that you declare your abstract uh, methods at the top and then your uh, real methods. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Write in the comments what you think about my videos. And if the video is okay for you, if it gave you some knowledge, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And see you next time.